Uh, thank you very much indeed, Kendall. We look forward to uh, half an hour of uh, loads of sport with him coming up in about nine minutes' time. First, let's tell you about a Cape Town artist who has immortalised Nelson Mandela's long walk to freedom in canvas. Queen Ng's latest painting, titled Long Walk to Freedom 2, tells the story of a young Madiba growing up in Kunu. The celebrated artist says that he's met the, he met the late uh, former president several times and his legacy should never be forgotten. Historic moments in South Africa captured on canvas. The artwork tells the story of Madiba's childhood to his treason trial in 1956. It's not the first by artist Shui Ning. In 1999, he painted a picture of Madiba and his wife, Grasha Michelle. Mandela asked to meet the artist. The painting still hangs at his Houghton home in Johannesburg. Madiba told me too many artists in the world to do his portrait, too many. But uh, he chose only me, chose my painting portrait, and uh, Michelle Grasha and him, and uh, his house in Johannesburg. Only chose this painting, and, and uh, he wanted to join this painting every day. Shui Ning was also commissioned by the Mandela Foundation to paint Long Walk to Freedom 1 in 2008 for his 90th birthday. The artist says he felt he could not include everything and so he decided to do another painting, a job that took almost five years. I want to keep doing the painting for him for my whole life. I want to show thoughts on the young people to teach him and education to him how the thought of them was before. Ning has previously been commissioned to do paintings on other struggle stalwarts such as Walter Sisulu. He says he remembers how Ma Sisulu said she wanted the painting to hang in her bedroom. He says he's inspired by South Africa's rich history. And it's people like Madiba and the kind of lives they lived that can't bring Ning to put down his paintbrushes. Nomao Tusolwandle, SABC News, Cape Town.